Driverless vehicles and machines, that's how the Krone and Lemkin companies envision the future in the fields. Last summer, they had autonomous tractors work their test fields. They are jointly working on developing a new generation of agricultural machinery. The engineers are driven by customers' demand. They want to see self-driving vehicles in use as soon as possible. We are seeing a shortage of skilled workers, but we can make up for that with the help of autonomous vehicles. If there are fewer drivers, our machines will have to be able to work by themselves at some point. The self-driving vehicles are packed with sensors and small video cameras that register everything around them. The innovation lies mainly in the development of standalone software that controls the system. If there's no driver behind the wheel, the autonomous machine has to take over. The corresponding software has to figure out, can I drive straight ahead now, or is there an obstacle in the way and I have to stop? Modern tractors like that of Farmer Ulrich Löhr already have a variety of digital applications on board. What the farmer lacks is a powerful mobile network, often a prerequisite for driverless tractors. That's why I think we have to work out the basics first. What we really need is mobile connectivity at every corner of the forest, behind every milk crate, so that we can reliably use these devices across the board. Backing up here is a machine used in a so-called swarm. It's a research project run by the Technical University of Dresden. The idea, one tractor driver controls and monitors several field swarm machines that work together on the field. The swarm also needs reliable connectivity to successfully communicate. More than 20 million euros have been spent on the project, which has been run and tested on fields as well as a lab. And it includes new engine technology, with farmers moving away from diesel and towards more environmentally friendly methane gas, produced for example from biogas plants. Methane propelled engines are well developed and designed. We know how to inject methane, we know how to store methane. The technology is fully developed, we just have to implement it. Years of research have already gone into the development of autonomous tractors. The next step is to get the machines ready for mass production.